Assalamu alaikum. Today I am in Mali near to the airport and welcome to another brand new video from Capture Snap. Today I'm gonna show you the beautiful places. So let's get started. This is the entrance of the mosque and from the balcony you can see a few beautiful views. And this is one of them. And now let's get inside of the mosque and see how it looks. So there are a few entrances of this mosque and you saw the upstairs inside the mosque and that is for women. So at the same time women and men they all can pray in this mosque which is really good. And now we are outside of the mosque and you will see how it looks from outside. It's really, uh, really close to the airport. You can also see the airport from this place, and uh, and, and and the view from this side is also pretty good. There is a bridge which connects Mali. Actually, there are two islands in Mali, and this bridge connects them together. <laughs> This 
place is so slippery because you can see all around water and there's some fungus and also oh my god the wave is coming really really high there. So after getting inside the mosque it reminds me an amazing story and now I am going to tell you about that. There was a young man who is a construction worker and he was working in a construction of a big grand masjid. The Sultan who organized this construction of the big grand masjid, he has a daughter. So at the at the completion of the construction, the princess made a special request to her father that after the construction of this big, beautiful grand masjid, she wanted to be the first one to go into the masjid and pray to Raqqa inside the mosque with no one else there. So she asked her father about that. So according to her expectation, the Sultan organized it and he wanted all of the construction workers to leave and and everyone was leaving but this one construction worker whom i mentioned earlier the young one he was falling behind he was late and he didn't realize that everyone else has already left and they already had allowed the princess into the masjid to go pray so as the worker was leaving, he catches a glimpse of the princess inside the, inside the masala of the masjid, praying to Rakaj of Nafal. And the scene was just so incredible to him. It was an amazing scene and, and he basically just fall in love with, with the princess. It was just a very beautiful image to him and he fall in love with her. And it became more than that. He became infatuated with her. So when he came home, he told his mother about what had happened. And he said that you have to go to the Sultan and ask for the princess hand in marriage. And the mother said, I can't do that. You are just a construction worker. No one's going to listen to you and the Sultan's not going to have his daughter marry you. But this construction worker became infatuated. He couldn't work, he couldn't drink, he couldn't eat, he couldn't sleep. He was just in a miserable state. And the mother, out of fear of her son and his well-being, realized that if he doesn't do something, he may, be, he, he may die because he is refusing food and water. So, so she goes to the palace and requests to speak to the Sultan but the girls turn her away so that mother said to them my son is going to die I have to talk to the Sultan but finally they let her talk to the Sultan and she mentions the story to the Sultan and the Sultan asks us that she should have to come back with the construction worker so they come back together and the Sultan made a condition. He tells to the construction worker, after Isha prayer, when everyone leaves the masjid at night, he has to come and pray Qiyam in this mosque for 40 nights. If you come and pray Qiyam in this mosque for 40 nights, the street, I will let you marry my daughter. And and there will be someone there to make sure that you come and if you miss a day then they will know about it 
so so in 40 days if you fulfill your end of the bargain i will let you consider my daughter for marriage so the construction worker is excited this is a chance at life for him so he goes on the first day and he prayed Kiam in the masjid so he goes on the first day and he prayed Kiam in the masjid after everyone leaves and he goes in the second day and the third and after a few weeks he notices that he is getting better he's eating again he's drinking again he's, he cares about life again and eventually and eventually he starts to really really enjoy coming to the masjid he was enjoying praying qiyam to the to such an extent that he starts to pray to allah and he realized allah never takes away these beautiful moments that he was with him alone in solitude praying to him in the in the night so 40 night so 40 days pass 50 days pass 60 days pass Seven days pass and eventually the sultan asks us to see the construction worker and he says how come you didn't come to see me when you already fulfilled the bargain you fulfilled your end of the bargain you prayed all 40 nights and we saw that you prayed how come you didn't come and see me and the construction worker turns to the sultan and says before i saw your daughter my my heart was empty and the first thing of beauty that my heart was exposed to was your daughter and that's why it grabbed into that experience but then after i started praying in the masjid for 40 nights my heart witnessed a beauty that was much greater than hers my heart witnessed a beauty that it has never felt before and he tells the sultan thank you so much for offering me your daughter to consider but now i am happy where i am and i am in no need of her and he goes on his way and he doesn't marry the princess because he had found a love and a beauty and a happiness that was much greater than just seeing that princess that one time and this was the love of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is the beauty of a close relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is something that only the one who has experienced it can, can really talk about it. And even if they were to try to talk about it, it doesn't do it justice. This is something that is really unexplainable and I found this story different and motivation for making a connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I hope this story will motive uh, I hope this story will motivate us to sacrifice this dunya and dunya related stuff and relationships and seek a greater connection with Allah for our blessings May Allah bless us all thank you so much for watching I will see you in my next one inshallah Allah bless